Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Dow. Today I'm going to teach you a very important and very necessary concept. Today I'm going to teach you how to drill and make a full auto sear for your AR-15. The thing you're going to need is, and I open safety goggles, that's for wimps. The only thing you're going to need is your drill bit. <clears throat> now, you're going to want to set your AR-15 down like so. Right here you're going to have your lower receiver. On your lower receiver, the first thing you want to do is drill a small incision. So that way you're going to have a special spot to put your selector switch all the way on fun. <laughs> so, first, make a small incision in that lower receiver. About like that. Now, with this, you're going to also need... Well, I don't think I have it. Screwdriver. Now, with this, because we don't have a hammer, you're going to want to improvise. Now, you're going to want to tap the rest of that out, because there's going to be a little bit of remaining, you know, metal and polymer and steel. So you just want to tap the rest of that out like so. All right. Now, now that you've got a special hole to put your little fun switch, you're going to want to take this little product right here. This is going to be your full auto sear. So you're going to want to take your AR-15 apart, like so. You're going to take the whole bolt assembly out, and you're going to completely disassemble your lower receiver. Now, what you want to do next is that special little spot where you flip your selector switch, you're going to insert this little full auto sear. So you insert it. The other thing you're going to have to do is that little hole you made, you're going to want to connect that hole. So the next thing you want to do is you want to get a screwdriver, preferably one that's a little bit smaller, but this will do for now. We can improvise. And you just want to connect that full auto sear. Get that little, little boom boom switch in there. Now, next, is you'll notice, you'll have a third spot. So you have safe, semi, to full auto. Then you're going to put that AR-15 back after you put your bolt assembly back in, which I forgot to do, put your bolt assembly back in, put your charging handle back in like so, slap that back on top, push that little button back in. Now you will have a fully automatic AR-15. Screw you, ATF. Thus ends the lesson.